Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are talking Thursday, May 4th for the NBA on prize picks. Player props, you know, this works for other sites besides player prop, besides prize picks. But here we go into this game. If you watched last video, I mean, as long as you had all unders, basically, you would have hit for the Celtics and 76ers on Wednesday. But I don't think basically any of the overs hit. So if you were on the unders yesterday, you did good. For this one, I think we have some good picks for you guys. We got the Lakers plus 5.5, Warriors minus 5.5, over under 227.5 on Bet365. If you haven't played on Bet365, look at the code down below. I got $200 in free bets for depositing 10. I'm not sure what their promo is right now, but these numbers are going to help us out. And we're going to come back here and talk some bets after our player props. Also get in the Discord here. We got people posting their big wins. MJ, if you get in here, you should message MJ. He bet $6,000, won 18 grand. So this guy definitely has some locks. And always, always people talking in the betting talk and player prop section. So for prize picks on Thursday, starting off, we're going to look at the Lakers. And in this game, let's just see what the rotation was for the first game of the series because it changes by series. So Rui only saw 11 minutes. Troy Brown, 12. Schroeder with 31, which is a big change. Schroeder in the last series, if we look at his game log, he was getting 23, 19, 30 in overtime, 24, 16, 20. So the most minutes he's played in the playoffs so far in this game, that could be a sign of what's to come. You know, the Kings played the Warriors with a small ball lineup, and that could be what the Lakers are trying to do in this one. It worked for game one, so might as well go back to it. So I would come over here, look at Dennis Schroeder. His prop's still at 8.5 or half three-pointer made. You know, I think either of these are pretty good. Free throws, three and a half seems too high, um, unless you expect him to play 30 minutes again. But if you project him for around 20 minutes, I think the points or three-pointers look pretty good. And uh, I'm going to take the over. Projected him to play mid-20s to 30 minutes in this game. So I think the points is going to be safer than the free throws for sure. And you could also go to the three-pointers made. Uh, hasn't been hitting him as of late, but that's pretty unlike Schroeder, so I would be fine with either of these picks. Then moving on to the Lakers, Austin Reeves, he struggled to score the ball, but the rebounds are always there for Reeves, still at four. You know, in the last five games, he's gone four or more in all five and over four in four of the five games. Still got five boards in the last game, still played a lot of minutes, 39 minutes, so... You know, they could go elsewhere offensively in this one, but the rebounds should still be there for Reeves. He's a bigger guard that hustles for rebounds. So I'm going to be going to, to Reeves in this game on the over. Now we're going to move to the Warriors here, so let's see what their rotation was. A little different here. We saw Jordan Poole play 30 minutes in this one. DiVincenzo, Payton only got 12 each off the bench, so that's important to know. Jordan Poole last series didn't play 30 minutes in a single game, but he was hot in this one. So is it something we're just going to see if he's hot early, then they'll continue to play him? Or is he going to see bigger minutes in this series? That's kind of the question you got to ask for yourself. I think he might have just got hot and they played him big minutes. I could see like Gary Payton getting more minutes in this one. Uh, so Poole on the points, I would go... On the under, he needs 15 in this one. You know, in the last three games of the sack series, he didn't play that much and couldn't score the ball. So I would take him on the under. I think it's kind of propped up. And unless he gets hot again early, I don't see him playing close to 30 minutes. But a guy who I think is in store for a big scoring game, Steph Curry, his props down to 30 and a half. I could see him definitely going over that. So that's going to be my fourth pick. And then... Someone who's turned into a streaky shooter is going to be Clay Thompson. If you look at his threes, he's four and a half three pointers made. He's done that twice in the last five games. Had a big game last game. You know, I don't think he's going to have another massive game. So I would be going on the under on his threes. You could also look to the points. 
but he could still hit four threes and hit the points. So I think that the threes is a little bit safer on this one. Over here on the betting picks, I'm going to take the Warriors on the spread, five and a half points, and I would take the over as well of 227 and a half. Last game was 229, and I think the Warriors get it rolling and the, the Lakers are trying to catch up with them, but they can't quite do it, but I think it's going to be high scoring. So just a little recap of the picks. We got Klay Thompson under four and a half threes, Curry over 30 and a half points, Jordan Poole under 14 and a half points, Reeves four rebounds or more, and Schroeder over eight and a half points. Those are going to do it for my picks in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, get in the Discord, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. The channel's blowing up, guys. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.